Hi, Meg here from IT Stamping. Ready to learn how to make this card? Let's go! The first thing we're going to do with our card is our stamping. So I'm going to be using the flower first in crisp cantaloupe ink. I'm going to get that good and inked up. And I'm just stamping it onto extra pieces of white cardstock that I have. So I'm just going to stamp those and then I'm going to do the button and these are going to be in Coastal Cabana. And remember you can find all the details about this card on my blog, like all the supplies that I used. Alright, then we're going to punch it out using a one and a quarter inch circle punch and a half inch circle punch. Now we're ready to stamp our sentiment. And this is onto a white circle that's going to be two and three eighths inch diameter. That's going to give us that. So we're all done with our stamping and now we're ready to start assembling. The next thing we want to do is attach our little buttons to the center of our flowers using dimensionals. And then I've got some liquid glue and I tied some teeny tiny bows using the 10 second bow maker and the white baker's twine. So I'm just going to drop these on top. And there we have that. And then these are going to layer once they're dry onto our sentiment. So let's move on. Let's go ahead and build out the base of our card. Let's start with a strip of basic black cardstock that's going to be three quarters of an inch by three and seven eighths. And then I've got some patterned paper that's the exact same measurement. So it's just going to give me that little hint of black there. All right, then I'm going to take this entire layer and I'm going to drop it onto a piece of... Um, Pistachio pudding is going to be one and a half by three and seven eighths. Then I've got two pieces of car, um, paper. One's basic black and the other one's going to be that pattern paper. And I just cut them out using the apothecary accents die. Once again, I just want a little shadow of that black underneath the pattern paper. And then this is going to attach right into the middle. So it's just going to give me a fun little accent. Just make sure it's centered from left to right. Mine's a little bit off, so let's adjust that right now. All right, there we have it. So this is going to go onto a piece of Whisper White that's going to be 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 1 eighth. And remember, all the dimensions for all these projects can be found on my blog. All right, so I'm going to take my Sunny Days sentiment and put it onto a piece of crisp cantaloupe. And this crisp cantaloupe I also used frameless to cut out. It's going to be right at two and seven eighths of an inch in diameter. So I'm just going to get these good and lined up into the center this time and we'll drop this onto our card. And now we're ready to add this to our card front which is just going to be white cardstock four and a quarter by eleven inches and I've scored it at five and a half. Okay, we're still going to let these dry a little bit longer, so let's turn our attention to the inside of the card. I'm going to use the same measurements I did on the front with the pattern paper and the black card stock. So it's going to be 3 and 7 eighths by 3 quarters of an inch for both of these. Just kind of layer those. And then these are going to go onto a piece of Whisper White, same measurement as the front. It's going to be that 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 1 eighth. And we're just going to take this and drop it on the inside of our card. So lots of writing room. You can add another sentiment to the front if you want. And then all we need to do is add our little buttons. Or should I say button flowers. Take this one. And then for our finishing touch, we're just going to take some rhinestones. And just have them cascading up underneath our sentiment there. Whoops. And there you have it. So a super simple card. It just looks a little bit more complicated than it really is. And now I'm going to share with you a simple change you can make to really make this card pop even more. So rather than just attaching your Whisper White cardstock to the card front, another thing you can do is just add some texture using um, your Big Shot, and this is the perfect polka dots embossing folder. And then I layered it onto a piece of basic black that's four inches by five and a quarter inches. 
just going to lay this onto our card front. This right here is an idea that comes from Stamping Family. So one of my favorite things in that site is how we're taking cards and teaching you how to kick them up another notch. Take them and step them and step them and step them into total greatness by making just some very simple changes. So if you're not a member of Stamping Family, you really should check it out. All right, so look at what a little pop of color with that black background and that texture did for this card. I love it. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. If you like it, please be sure to like it below and share it with your friends. Then be sure to head on over to iteachstamping.com. Make sure you're signed up for my newsletter. Every week there's new goodness coming out into your inbox. Again, I'm Meg from I Teach Stamping and have a great day.